I just read something about Justin Bieber having wild times back in the day. He was saying how intense it got, with security checking his pulse at night. And apparently there's this old video of him chatting with Diddy when he was like 16, and Bieber seems all anxious. Why was P. Diddy doing this to Justin Bieber? Many people were saying it almost looked like he was checking to see if Justin is wired up. Then this is where P. Diddy goes to say something to him secretly and many people are saying Justin wanted to leave as he walked fast into his car after that conversation. And let me know your thoughts on this. Things took an ugly turn after Rodney filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs in February. And apparently, Justin Bieber leaked freak-off footage of Rihanna and Jay-Z. But that's not all. There's more to the story. She said she wanted to thank everybody for her first Grammy. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to thank Jay-Z for being a part of this record with me. She liked to thank Jigga Man for being the greatest in the world. Ellen <laughs> Reed. Well, everything's good. Everything's Selling right. out arenas and everything. Mm -hmm. Starting to act different, huh? You, 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 ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But. It, you, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's five, five. In a video, Diddy's like, why have you been distant, bro? It's wild, especially with all the recent stuff going down at Diddy's places. Bieber's selling out arenas now, so he's moved on from those days. It's just wild to think about, you know? As soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you rock this every time you right. come in Yeah, this will be yours. So, every oh, time you come okay. in LA, it's a little dusty, but you know, I'm gonna the front shot at Man. 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 Woo. Okay. Okay. All right, so so I'm gonna be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down. You gotta, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15. Thing. You could ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Now that, not yet. No. All right, no, 16. No, no, no. 16. Not ready. Let's slow right. down. Let's slow down, Josh. Okay. Let's one, slow down. One, okay. One step at a time. But yeah, yeah. The keys is yours. When you, you know, when you get 16, you All good right. to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. Right. And then, when you get 18, you get the house. You get the mansion. Okay, I yeah. get the mansion? Yeah. All right. So, where, where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where, where are we going? <laughs> we just, so, check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, like, like the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. I, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, <laughs> and, yeah, and, and we're going to go full. Buck full crazy. I'm going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go. Um, are we gonna? Let's just go get some girls. Let's go hang with some girls. A man after my heart. That's what I'm talking about, kid. Yeah. Music producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones' lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs reveals unsettling details. And right. because of uh, look, Jay Z and them was putting it together, mm -hmm. so I, I think they still harbor some energy towards me. You think you were purposely left out of the ad? No, no, oh, I, okay. I don't think. I think that they they, they were saying the NFL has some issues with me mm. that um, I don't know what those issues are. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, what is the issue? You see what I'm saying? Like, and I um, with with him because like with Nori, Nori was. He had uh, communication. He said, yeah, that's why I talked to the big homie. He said, so Jay, he was telling me, you know, the white boy wouldn't do the truth without without 50. I, I hit the homie, the big homie, Jay-Z, right? And I told him to come pull up on me. Mm. It's, it, that's not mine. That's theirs. They're hard for it, right? But when you look at, 
M is looking at the entire legacy. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing, like with, with M, Dre, and myself. Like the, I'm, I'm the music artists' houses in Los Angeles and Miami were recently seized, and now the S asterisk X trafficking court paperwork reveals a tie to British royalty Prince Harry. Meanwhile, 50 Cent takes advantage of another opportunity to criticize Jay Z. It's ripped open. Closets ransacked, boxes of gun ammo, and Grammy Awards. New images from TMZ show inside Diddy's ransacked Beverly Hills mansion during the coast-to-coast -coast raids where no arrests were made. People in the home are traditionally detained during raids, so they don't flee, and so they don't destroy evidence. The rapper's attorney calls it a witch hunt with an excessive show of force and hostility that led to a premature rush to judgment, adding Diddy will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. They don't execute these types of search warrants until they believe they have an ironclad case. So where's the 54-year-old now? Unclear, but his jet that traveled to Antigua from LA on Monday just landed in Miami today. That's where Diddy was last seen, reportedly bound for a Caribbean spring vacation with his two daughters. Also with him, an associate, Brendan Paul, who was arrested for alleged drug possession. He's been accused in a lawsuit of being a, quote, drug mule for Diddy, but hasn't commented. At least five lawsuits have been filed, nearly all by those claiming Diddy drugged and forced them into having sex. Longtime enemy, Diddy Sam posted that his upcoming docu-series on the allegations is now entitled Diddy Do It. What we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. So I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. As the sex trafficking investigation continues, interviews with Diddy's star protégés are going viral, including Usher, who said as a teen, the rapper introduced him to a hypersexual environment he called Puffy Flavor Camp. You know, hot girls, pretty girls. I'm around grown women, and I'm seeing them do things and and have experiences that I'm not quite ready for. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. Let's just go get some girls. Man, that's what I'm talking about. As I said before, I'm, I'm innocent. Diddy talked to E.T. about his prior trouble with the law, including that infamous 1999 nightclub shooting. At the time, he and then-girlfriend J.Lo were both arrested. I, I wish I would have stayed at home. <laughs> J.Lo wasn't charged, and Diddy was ultimately acquitted. But what can we expect if he's charged and tried in his new federal probe? Diddy has essentially unlimited funds to defend this case, and I expect him to litigate it very aggressively. Ultimately, I think Diddy is going to be indicted by a grand jury. If Diddy waives his right to a speedy trial, he could potentially push the case out a year or more. I, I can't be in this position again. I can't. I got to try my best to do anything, not to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. A lot has been going on, which may seem confusing and overwhelming. However, we are here to share everything we know about it. Diddy is a well-known rapper, record producer, and entrepreneur who goes by Puff Daddy or P. Diddy. He is credited with discovering new musicians, such as Usher. He is a highly important individual in the music industry who has been accused of sexual harassment since November of last year. His ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, was the first to blame him and file a lawsuit against him. But a couple of other women eventually came forward and accused him of sexual assault as well. This appear to meet the legal standard for excessive use of force? No, not at all. In terms of how they were stopped and how they were detained, you have to think that when officers are going in to execute a search warrant, and I've written numerous search warrants as a former prosecutor, and they've been gone out to execute a search warrant as part of the officers. In terms of how it was executed and the force that they used, they immediately try to detain any individuals that are inside of the home, and that's to just make sure they, one, identify who they are, but number two, and primarily the reason and it's for their own safety, the safety of the individual, as well as the safety of law enforcement. Again, we do not know what is the information that law enforcement had before going in to execute that search warrant. But a sign this shows me is that they had information that it's possible that the individuals that are inside of that house could be armed. And Diddy has not been charged with a crime. So if the investigators here and the prosecutors here decide charges are warranted, is there any sense of how long that could take after a raid like this? 
it could take weeks, it could take months. And the reason why is because they gathered so much evidence was supposedly they gathered so many videos and laptops and also electronic devices. And they have to now conduct a forensic investigation of those items and to see what are on those items. And first off, they have to ask whether they have the passcodes to those items because not having the passcodes could create a delay in investigating those items. But then aside from that, once they are able to get into those items, they're going to continue to build from that and see where the evidence leads them. All right, Bernardo Villalona, always great to have you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching. Rodney filed a $30 million lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs in February, escalating the situation. He leveled serious claims against Diddy, including sex trafficking, sexual misconduct, and grooming. In the midst of this, an old video of Justin Bieber and Diddy surfaced, causing people to be uncomfortable. Diddy's legal team could be happier, though. You got some visitors, dog. We're seeing that large presence. New video, Diddy slowly pacing outside Miami's private jet facility at 3 p.m. yesterday via TMZ as Homeland Security raided mansions on both coasts, from his $35 million waterfront estate in Florida to Beverly Hills. I'm outside Diddy's $40 million pad. It's quiet now, but yesterday, media, SWAT vehicles, dozens of armed officials and investigators descended on the property, seizing boxes of evidence and putting his sons Christian and Justin in handcuffs. They were reportedly detained and released. So what does this raid mean for Diddy and any evidence against him? Law enforcement had enough to get the search warrant. They maybe even have enough to get an indictment. And if so, I expect Diddy to be arrested in a matter of days and no more than weeks. This afternoon, Diddy's attorney called the raid a gross overuse of military level force and part of a witch hunt, adding that his client is innocent and was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. How y'all doing? Seems like Diddy was completely caught off guard. Check out his demeanor just six days ago, beaming while out with his son Quincy in West Hollywood. So where's the rapper now? Well, all eyes have been focused on tracking his private jet, which left LA around 9 a.m. yesterday, bound for Antigua and Barbuda. The United States has an extradition treaty with Antigua and Barbuda, which means that Diddy can be arrested there and brought back to the United States. Where do you go to relax in the world? Uh, I like the Caribbean. No, Diddy is not on the run. He was not on that flight, but is a free man for now and can travel. He was reportedly scheduled to leave for a trip to the Bahamas. You went to a private island, you isolated yourself, no phones. Off the grid is something I do like at least once a month. Just six months ago, this single star told E.T. his ideal date is all about isolating. No phones, no Wi-Fi. Before there was the internet, there was no way like to track your girlfriend or nothing. 50 Cent, who's currently producing a documentary on his longtime enemy sexual assault allegations, wasted no time posting speculation. Diddy was fleeing the country and quote, I told y'all. Get up on that. Diddy's been around the world music video has gone viral, showing him fleeing cops on a private plane. If he's under indictment, a judge will issue an arrest warrant, which means that he can be arrested whether it's here in the United States or in the Caribbean. And former employee slash Danity Kane member Aubrey O'Day posted, what you sow, you shall reap. I pray that this emboldens all of us victims to finally speak on what we have endured. It was torture mind games. I don't think any of us have healed from that. Aubrey and other ex-bandmates stood by Diddy's ex Cassie, who was one of at least five people to file lawsuits accusing him of crimes from rape and sex trafficking to physical abuse. The rapper vehemently denied the claims and settled Cassie's suit just a day later. Ultimately, I think Diddy is going to be indicted by a grand jury. Diddy can be looking at a 10 or even 15 year mandatory minimum sentence or even one count of sex trafficking. Oh no, I got to keep on They're saying the raids were way too intense, like military style intense. They say, yo, there's no need for all that force and hostility. Diddy wasn't cuffed or anything, but he had to chat with the feds. And despite what the media is saying, nobody in the Combs crew has been arrested or had their travel plans messed with. 
Wild stuff, man. A little Grigio there, maybe? Shirtless while puffing something, hey. And checking his phone in another. Diddy was spotted over the weekend at his $71 million Star Island Double Wide compound for the first time since agents questioned him at a Miami airport. Diddy opted to ignore the elephant in the room as he returned to social media for the first time since those raids, posting these pictures of his 17-month-old daughter. He captioned the photos, Happy Easter from Baby Love. Now, one of Diddy's sons, caught up in the chaos last week, appears to have broken his silence. 25-year-old King Combs, who was detained as agents searched Diddy's L.A. home, posted on Snapchat, Stop with the cap. Translation, quit lying. A possible message directed towards those who have accused his dad of abuse, rape, and sex trafficking. Diddy has vehemently denied those claims. Uh -huh. And now comes news, the one-time billionaire music mogul who rapped about big dollars during his 90s heyday. reportedly owes nearly 100 million on those mansions that the feds raided. The Daily Mail says he took out eight mortgages, totaling 140 million bucks on those properties. Those loans were taken out before a tsunami of civil suits were filed against him. The fallout, nearly two dozen companies have cut ties with him, and he sold his stake in his Revolt TV network. So what is next for Diddy and for prosecutors? Sean Combs is literally fighting for his life. His defense attorneys are more likely than not having a very serious conversation with him, seeing if these allegations are true and who they need to speak with in order to combat these allegations. We spoke with ABC News legal contributor Brian Buckmeyer. This is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the investigation. It's about how much information law enforcement got in those two raids. Evidence typically leads to more evidence. So you look to see who was in Sean Combs' home in Miami or LA, and you find those names. And you're looking at flight records, who traveled from point A to point B. This timeline can be weeks, months, maybe even a year, depending on how much law enforcement digs into. Man, it's wild to see these old videos resurface. Diddy promises Bieber a Ferrari when he turns 16 and a mansion when he turns 18. But given Diddy's history, it's making folks wonder about his motives. Was he trying to rope Bieber into some shady stuff by showering him with these lavish gifts? There was also another viral clip where just a few years after Diddy started mentoring Justin and showing him the lifestyle, giving him the Ferrari and access to the mansion at 18, on camera he says to Justin after he's starting to become a star, he no longer messes with him and they don't have out like they used to. You ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... You I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But yeah. this clip literally have millions of views across different platforms, and everyone has found it strange. Well, talk about brotherly love. You couldn't miss this moment on your feeds: Justin Bieber giving pal Jaden Smith a kiss on the cheek at Coachella. I'm having a good time. The now viral video shows Jaden sneaking up from behind the beeves, grabbing his waist for a little dance, and then there's this, Justin sweetly giving his bro a kiss, something that's become the talk of the internet. He's really just like a brother to me. Yeah, these two go way back. Guess who? Jay Smith and JB. Uh-huh. I got you, little bro. That's 16-year-old Justin and 11-year-old Jaden when they collaborated on the pop star's 2010 song, Never Say Never. I think that it's cool to just collaborate with people who you know. Which was also the theme song for Jaden's film, The Karate Kid. I've gotten to a place where I have like a core group and people who are really supporting me and encouraging me. And uh, I never had that before. You know, I never had, I never created those type of relationships. So now it feels like I have so much honestly just love him and like what he's doing like and the amount of change he's been able to make in the world is just insane life is hard you know we all go through things you know what i'm saying but the difference between other people is that no one knows about it you know what i'm saying and it's really difficult for people like justin for me for all types of people in the limelight justin and Jaden clearly unapologetic about the bond they've created over the years i think that he's amazing like honestly 
And this reunion was one of the many magical moments for the two in the desert during Coachella Weekend 1. The Beebs joined Tim's and WizKids Sunday night to perform their collab, Essence, with LA radio station 102.7 KISS FM sharing footage on the gram. Justin's wife, Haley, also supporting her hubby from the crowd, writing, oh, hey baby. He's just really sweet. He's a good heart and uh, I love him. Now, when it comes to the Smiths, yep, Jaden's dad will surprise fans by joining Jay Balvin on stage for an out of this world performance of Men in Black. With all that went down during weekend one, we'll surely be keeping our eyes peeled for Coachella weekend two. People are speculating all over, saying Diddy might have had other plans for Bieber besides being generous. Some fans are even reading between the lines in that video, saying when Diddy mentioned getting girls, it wasn't just about partying, it was like he was laying out some offer. It's all got everyone talking for sure. A word or a sentence? Eminem. The best. Lloyd Banks. Cool. <laughs> Tony Ayo. I smoke boy. Loyalty. 50 Cent. The rapper. Still got it, man. <laughs> 50 Cent, the television producer. Just get going. Future. Oh, talent. Nas. The best. Ooh. Jay Z. Good business. Get like when I reach out, because I want to see what the complications are, when nobody has any information about it, and it only came from that angle, I, I have to believe that that was something that was from that. Did you and Jay Z ever have a conversation, or no, y'all in different offices? As far yeah. as like, we don't need to talk about nothing. I heard that. Mm -hmm. Because of their professional rivalry, the rapper has taken numerous blows at Diddy in recent months. He posted a video about Diddy's neighbor, claiming that Combs brought a bus full of minors to his home late at night. That's when I start saying crazy stuff because I start looking. I go, "Oh, that's your big homie." It's no secret to anyone that 50 Cent and Jay-Z have a crazy history together, but most recently, it came out that Jay-Z tried to blackball 50 from the Super Bowl halftime show. Jay-Z and them was putting it together. Mm -hmm. So I, I think they still harbor some energy towards me. You think you were purposely left out of the ad? No, no, I, oh, okay. I don't think, I think that they, they were saying the NFL has some issues with me that um, I don't know what those issues are. But as we all know, 50 did in fact end up performing at the Super Bowl after all. And thankfully he did, because it was a legendary performance. But the reason 50 Cent ended up performing was because of Eminem defending him, not because Jay-Z changed his mind. Nor on Drink Champs ended up exposing this as we all know. And he said, the white guy called for, for 50 Cent. Mm. So I said, who's, who's the white guy? But as we all know, 50 Cent is not afraid of anyone or anything. Whether we are talking about rap beats with the game, Rick Ross or Ja Rule, or people just trying to cancel 50 for different remarks in general, he just doesn't lose. But today, some people feel that 50 Cent towed the line by comparing Jay-Z to a gay artist on Big Boy TV in LA. He's not, not looking at gold. Uh, that should be going. Right. So, so you, you, you image yourself after a gay painter. Okay. Big homie want to look like a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Oh my God, I think I know where we're going with So this. now look, what I'm saying to you is, look, when you start looking at, that's not mine, that's theirs. Now, I doubt personally anything's gonna happen to 50 Cent for saying this. It's just 50 being 50 and people don't even bother with him anymore. He just does what he wants. But uh, in saying that, we've seen what happened to Kanye West recently and in no way am I comparing what 50 did to Kanye West. But you know what I'm saying? People are gonna cancel people for what they wanna cancel them for. And you know, to some people he might have crossed the line. But let me know what you think in the comments section. Did he cross the line? Yes or no? See that. Jay got all the motherfucking trophies, man. That's because he signed that contract. What contract? The one with Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you don't sign, you don't give him a trophy, she ain't coming.
After firing shots at him over the house raids, 50 Cent brought Jay-Z's name into the mix by posting a missing milk carton photograph with Jay-Z on it. The Inda Club rapper captioned the photo. Anyone seen Jay? LOL. Puff stated that he wasn't answering his phone. LOL. So why is he dragging Beyonce's hubby into this? Scroll down. Who is the most overrated hip hop star of all time? Overrated? Yeah. Um, I mean, Jay-Z, he would say he was overrated. Rather be overrated than underpaid. Very good. Thank you very much. Right. I want to let you tell it. No, you're, you're no I want you to tell it. You really are the best. You're proving it here today. <laughs> as much as I'm proving it, you proving it. you proving it. Um, yeah, that wasn't the thing. It wasn't, people say that. He lost $50 million. No, no, that's not even close to what happened to this dude. And until you understand what happened to the dude, you don't understand what happened. Like, no, not they offered him 50 million and he turned it down. Who gonna turn down 50 million? Now I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right, uh, cause P Diddy be wanting the body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. Oh, I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm, I'm so I mean, can, freely. Can, 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 I need, can I need another one? You, here, get you another Thank one. Thank you, too, sir. Can. Thank you. It's 2020, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. Yeah. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch. I didn't do nothing Puffy did. Yeah, no, it was just so, it was just so excitement. There's so much excitement that there was no reason for me to put something in our drink. I need you to remember. I need you to remember this. I look and I go, oh, uh, that should be going me. So, so you, you, you image yourself after a gay painter. Okay. Big homie want to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. Jay-Z has been accused of being a member of an elite gay pedophile club by an ex-user named Matt Wallace, who posted a video on Rumble asking why 50 Cent was targeting Jay-Z during the Diddy dispute. What kind of relationship did Sean Corey Carter and Jay-Z have with Combs? Wallace's video also discusses Carter's Island, which purportedly includes an airport strip. In this video, watch how Jay-Z quickly turned around when P. Diddy greeted Beyonce with a touch on her shoulder. Jay-Z came out of nowhere. This was at the Rock Nation brunch back in 2018. Jay-Z definitely wasn't having it. The footage suggests that Beyonce's husband could be engaged in the trafficking. There are currently no substantial reports to back up these allegations. However, Justin Bieber once accused Carter of some heinous acts. Or even heard him spit a rhyme was at an MC battle, street battle in New York. But he didn't show up as Jay-Z. He didn't show up as the hottest rapper on the street. He showed up as the nigga that was with Big L. Rest For those in peace. of you. Rest in peace, Big L. Rest in peace, Big L. That dopest. was the one of the dopest. Yes. Big L was who put Jay Z on. Without question. And then Big L died, and then the next thing you know, Jay Z. Rumors are swirling that Jay Z is a member of the gay pedophile elite. As previously said, an old video of Justin and Combs has surfaced, and in one of them, the rapper discusses hanging out with Bieber for 48 hours. He says, Where we're hanging out and what we're doing, we can't disclose, but it's a 15 year old's dream which has made netizens uncomfortable with these films. Combs also emphasized Bieber's mutual relationship with Usher. Netizens find it strange. See their reactions here. This video of P. Diddy, 40, and Justin Bieber, 15, has gone viral, as has another video of Diddy asking 17-year-old Justin Bieber why he no longer wants to hang out with him. Justin's comments regarding the music industry make this much more terrifying. According to the People's Voice story, Bieber said that Combs is not the only predator in the industry. Bieber allegedly told Bible study groups that the music industry is rife with pedophilia. According to a member of the congregation, the sorry singer admitted that it was an open secret that Jay-Z and his close colleagues allegedly are asterisk P.E. and murdered children in satanic rituals. 
Usher stayed with Sean Diddy Combs after landing a deal with L.A. Reid's label. He reportedly dubbed the experience Flavor Camp, where girls were always present. In 2004, Usher told Rolling Stone, You'd open a door and see someone doing it or several people in a room having an O asterisk jai. Again, when Usher appeared on The Howard Stern Show in 2016, he commented on his stay at Diddy's residence, saying, Inquisitive things were going on and I didn't necessarily understand it. He went there to see the lifestyle, and when the host asked if he would send his child to Puffy Camp, he said no. According to the Hindustan Times, the celebrities whose names surfaced in the court filings included those from the music business and others. One of the more startling names to emerge on the list is Prince Harry. Aside from him, Nipsey Hussle or Stevie J, an R&B artist who won a Grammy for Best Singer and was arrested for assaulting a Bajan multimillionaire, is also on the court record. The paper also includes the names of Young Miami, Moses, T.D. Bishop, T.D. Jakes, Cassie Ventura, and musical luminaries Donald Lawrence and the Clark sisters. The feds recently raided Diddy's properties in Los Angeles and Miami, resulting in this explosion. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching.